On December 15, 2009, Rachel McNall was on her way to the Honda dealership in Bellevue when a drunk driver changed her life forever. It was a, it was a, a horrific scene. There was debris everywhere, parts of cars, many, many uh, emergency vehicles, aid units, fire trucks, state patrol. You know, I could see the, the car that came across was still up in the median uh, facing the freeway, so like looking right at the fast lane. And the car that got hit was now, that was going e westbound, was now facing eastbound, completely destroyed. When I arrived at the scene, I observed two cars that were just demolished. And I remember looking at the cars thinking there's no way that anybody survived this crash. Rachel's car was heading westbound on I-90 towards Bellevue. Another driver, who was under the influence of drugs and alcohol, was headed eastbound towards North Bend. Both vehicles were traveling at 70 miles per hour. The impaired driver crossed the median and struck Rachel's car head on. So my name is Rachel McNall. I am a former graduate of Mount Si High School. I graduated in 2003. I needed to go to Bellevue. My car smells a little funny, so I wanted to go get it fixed. Little did I know that someone else was gonna fix my car in another way that day. And I don't remember the day of the accident or two weeks after that. Um, I'm really thankful I don't remember the actual accident because I couldn't imagine what it would be like to hear the noise, see a car coming directly at you. You have no control over what you're supposed to do and hitting you, spinning your car around on the freeway at 70 miles an hour, it's kind of intense to even think about that, but I couldn't imagine actually living that. Obviously I did live it, but I'm so thankful that I don't remember. When I got there, I saw cars all over the place, debris all over the place. It was, uh, you know, dust was still falling from the sky. I was called and told to respond to a two-car head-on collision on I-90 in the area of Preston. If I was getting called to a collision, that meant it was a bad one. The only ones I responded to were the worst of the worst crashes, and typically it's because somebody was driving recklessly or driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. You see the smoke and the debris moving around. Um, told our radio that we had a car just cross over head-on and that we definitely needed aid, that no traffic was moving, the freeway was shut down. Um, I started checking her for injuries and I couldn't find any blood, but I could see that there was problems. She was squeezed into a little spot in the car. She was the driver, but she was in the back seat. I, I could tell that there was problems and one of the things that struck me right off the bat was what we call the death rattle. It's a noise you make when your body isn't functioning. It's trying to breathe, but it can't. The first week was very intense. I was in the ICU, and they weren't really sure if I was going to live or not, um, which it, I feel extremely bad for my family. Like, for them having to go through that, I couldn't imagine, like, oh, is she going to live? Is she going to die? We're not really sure. After overcoming her physical and emotional trials, Rachel wants teens to recognize how the choices they make could have a dramatic effect on their lives and the lives of others. Uh, the choices that that driver made that day made choices for Rachel, made choices for the rest of Rachel's life. Uh, those decisions affected everyone there. It, it affected me, it affected the troopers, the other emergency responders, the EMS, the medics. Everyone was affected by that decision to drink and get behind the wheel and drive a car. The best message that I can give from my experience as a state trooper is that the decisions that we make affect other people. That we have the ability to make good choices or bad choices. And that we should always think about the fact that the choices that we are making are affecting more than just ourselves. And just realize that the decisions you make obviously affect others, so think before you make any actions. You need to know that the choices you're making are going to affect other people's lives. I really am a firm believer in everything happens for a reason, and I'm still here for a reason, and that is to share my message with you. Make sure you're making responsible decisions. There's other people's lives at stake.